You're you mentioned that me. interview with with uh, Gavin Newsom. Um, I think it's worth just playing a bit from that that interview uh, because I would like to get your thoughts on yeah. the content uh, of what he was saying there. Let's roll that. During COVID, um, you you were pretty strict with the lockdowns here, and uh, it was an interesting piece in Harper's that sort of was critis- critical of your decisions from this perspective. You found a way to allow the motion picture industry and, Southern, and, the, and the sort of the movie industry to get back to work. But you didn't allow people to grieve together at funerals or at churches. And that it sort of, and that this may be why there's such a polarized disconnect. What, what you prioritize, right? This is this anger between the populace and the elite, supposedly. Here, you prioritize this industry but, you, you know, you were tougher on those that just wanted to go worship. Um, a, what do you say to that, Chris? I think there's a lot of humility. And we didn't know what we didn't know. And it was hardly I. Uh, it was we, collectively. I and I think all of us, in, in terms of our collective wisdom, we've evolved. We didn't know what we didn't know. We're experts in hindsight. We're all geniuses But now, think about what, we pri- what, you pri- what you ended up collectively prioritizing. You're prioritizing yeah. industry, you know, well, in one, and, and one specific one. But then didn't prioritize maybe ones that whose maybe values you didn't as connect with. Well, I don't think it's a binary. There was iterations within that theme. There was there was fits and starts. There were regional frameworks mm-hmm. uh, that had impacts more broadly defined. There were more industry specific uh, uh, frameworks. All of us went through a process. I mean, there was few states that didn't go into aggressive lockdowns, including uh, Florida's Ron DeSantis. No, I understand that, but it was and, more but of... With, but within the framework who, of the Who industries. opened the door? It's what industry got yeah. Leniency in which yeah, which no, one's all of it is all of it is legitimate in terms of reflection. All what is local, something you do differently? Well, I think a whole, no all, we would have done everything differently because we understood we would understand outdoors as an example. Class, the nature. You want to shut schools down? You to try to figure out how to maybe have outdoor classrooms. No, that's not. Well, now you're getting. I'm, I'm being. I'm, wait, but wait. I think the nature of the spread early on and understanding epidemiology of that spread, understanding mm-hmm. the spread in the context of how. It spread very differently indoors mm-hmm. than outdoors is one perfect example of what a lot of us would have done differently, including, again, in states, red mm-hmm. states, that shut down their beaches right. in the early part of the pandemic. So his defense is kind of, you know, we didn't know what we didn't know, and we all kind of, you know, would have done things differently. What, what do you think of that, Aaron? I, I think we did know. And there were people uh, like me in the state. There were people like Jay Bhattacharya at Stanford, in the state, there were many of us who were speaking out, who were criticizing these policies from the very beginning, starting in 2020, continuing through 2021. Uh, We had the epidemiological evidence to understand that lockdowns, which had never previously been tested and were never part of pandemic planning uh, prior to 2020, and had been rejected by the public health establishment, uh, Did you all were... ever try to get like an audience with Newsom or any local officials? Oh, and if so, yeah. absolutely. All of us were trying to get a hearing. And in fact, we were silenced. We were suppressed in some cases. We were fired. But even when we weren't fi- fired, uh, our universities vilified us. Um, people accused us of wanting to kill grandma. And so this whole, it wasn't I, it was we. No, go back and look at the stay at home order. It was signed by Gavin Newsom. Go back and look at his press conference when he announced the first lockdown in California. It was very much, I am ordering us to do this and I am taking responsibility for this. So we didn't know any better as nonsense. Many of us did and we were silenced, vilified, and in some cases lost our jobs. And I'm not responsible because all of us and our thinking has evolved and it's a big we It's just a dodge of responsibility. You're the executive. You're the one who declared a state of emergency within California, gained additional extra constitutional powers and utilized those powers in ways that were enormously damaging. The effects of which will be felt for decades. The effects of school closures, the effects of lockdowns will be felt for decades. So I have no patience for this. I have no patience for this dodging of responsibility. I'm glad he admitted yeah, we would do everything differently now, um, you know, so you feel sort of vindicated as a critic of lockdown school closures and mask and vaccine mandates. But um, 
but it's he's hardly admitting responsibility. He's hardly admitting uh, that he was wrong. He, you know, he's he's I don't know. He's trying to deflect responsibility onto some sort of anonymous collective blob, and that that's not how. That's not how a leader behaves. A leader takes responsibility for his or her own decisions. Thanks for watching that clip from our conversation with Aaron Cariotti about the return of COVID mandates and his book, The New Abnormal. You can watch another clip from that conversation right here or the full conversation over here.